Okay, so now that we have a normal map for our model, we can go ahead and texture it. Um, we're going to be using Didu for our our texturing software. Uh, you can use Photoshop or ZBrush, but all that's going to be manually done. Uh, what Didu allows is for us to texture something like a prop, something pretty easy like this, and get it done really quickly and efficiently and looking decently without much work um, so the requirements for this video are to for you to have Photoshop and to download the free version of Didu at the Quixel website uh, the link is in the description and just make sure to follow the instructions on how to install it and get it ready to use with Photoshop so the first requirement for DDU is for you to have a color map, which we did, which in this case was the yellow that we transferred from a high poly to the low poly. Again, make sure you saved uh, these textures somewhere where you can find them. I saved mine in my on my desktop so that I can find them easily. Okay, let me go back to my default here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to export my model here because Didu actually allows you to see the model uh, as preview of the model with the texture. So we can go ahead and do that. I'm going to set this back to zero and just export. Go to File, Export Selection. I'm going to save this in my desktop. I believe Didu can hold uh, you can import using obj objects so I'm going to set my file type to obj uh, and set it to trash can and export so that should be fine I'm going to save my Maya, fi my Maya file and open up Photoshop and Didu okay so when you open up the software this is what you're going to get uh, when you open up the software, you're going to get uh, a window like this one, which is basically just a small window, says Didu. Uh, and again, this is the free version. So the first thing we have to do is we have to, one requirement is that we have a color map, a, a single flat color applied to, which is going to be applied to the object. So we're going to click where it says new texture. Okay, so uh, the color that I was talking about is basically what they use as the material ID. Uh, so if you have different colors within the, uh, the diffuse that you're going to be using here, uh, every color is going to be a different material which you can apply in Didu. So you can do different changes separately and whatnot. Uh, but in our case, since our uh, the trash can is basically one material uh, so we only needed the whole thing to be one color which I chose yellow it didn't really matter so we're going to open that up and I say might at the desktop so we have that and also just really important is that we bring the uh, the normal map that we made so on the tangent space Other useful things that you can use are the ambient occlusion and other types of maps that you can bake whether in Maya or another software. So now that we have everything we can just hit bake. So once you load uh, the textures, you're going to get this. Uh, you get the window for where you are going to be messing with the material. Uh, you get a preview window, which by default just comes with a cube and a texture applied to it. And as you can see in Photoshop, there's like a, many, many layers here that Didu has added. 
So the first thing that we want to do is uh, we probably want to load our own mesh so that we can see it. Um, so click where it says load mesh. mesh. So once you load the mesh, as you can see, um, we have the low poly and it has the normal map applied to it so that we can see the normal map on the model itself. Okay, so now let's get to actual texturing the model. So number one, as you can see um, right here, there's a material definition and global settings, I mean global details. Under the global details, you can change the AO and cavity. Um, we don't need to mess with that. Uh, so if we click here on the material, which is our yellow, so again, if we uh, add different colors for our model, basically each color, every different color would be a different material. But since we are only using one material, uh, everything is just one. So under our material, we can select a preset, uh, which can be a type of metal. So you can choose any type of metal here, or you can just leave it as default uh, which I mean, just, it looks it looks fine another thing you can do is you can change the color of the uh, reflectivity you can change the color of the diffuse in this case but I'm gonna leave it as it was uh, it was a gray so I think uh, that was a pretty good color so one thing I wanted to do for our texturing here is use one of the presets within DDo. Uh, you can do it by manually adding all those details but at the same time they also have a few presets that you can use and I'm going to try one of those uh, so without changing anything if I go to modules and I go to presets as you can see I get a window here where we have a bunch of presets uh, for DDo, and it even shows uh, a preview of what exactly it will look like if we add that, if we used one of these presets. So in our case, it's uh, metal. So we could choose a one with scratches, uh, a dusty, an over-the-top wear, strong leaks or the quick and dirty um, so I'm actually going to try it a few of these uh, just to see what I, uh, what the best results are so I'm going to choose the strong metal right now and see what that does so you click on it and then you click on the D and that's going to apply it to our texture so after going uh, through some of the uh, presets I decided to choose the uh, uh, the one with heavy scratches and this is pretty much the result I got from that again that's just the preset what it does it adds a bunch of details here that we could do manually as well but it just does it by itself which is uh, as a preset and applies it to your model so as you can see this is a really really beat up um, a preset, it added a lot of scratches and uh, just really made it look really old and beat up. So that's uh, in case you want to use one of the presets, you can just use one of the presets or uh, and again even when you get the presets you can still mess with uh, the details, all the details here that uh, Didu added and you can add your own details so if you wanted to add your own details you make sure you have clicked on the material and just add detail and from here uh, you're going to get a whole list of, of things that you can add so in this case I'm going to be adding uh, type edge here so I'm going to be adding some edge wear and you can even preview it uh, 
and change uh, lots of the uh, options here. I'm just going to leave it as default. And when when you're done, just click on the D. It's going to apply it to the uh, to your texture. And you can close that. As you can see, it added an extra layer of detail here, which in this case it's our edgeware here. And there's things that we can do. We can change the uh, the opacity of the uh, edge where we can change the color of the not only the diffuse but the gloss and the specular if I'm going to change the uh, okay uh, your model is going to update uh, if you have the uh, update uh, here uh, clicked, checked. Um, if you don't, uh, you can click on it and it's going to update the view on uh, the viewport so that you can see uh, the updated. Uh, maybe I want the uh, edge to be white instead of black. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how you do texturing using the DDo uh, software. Again, you can use one of the uh, presets or if you just want to do one from scratch by yourself, uh, you can just do it by adding a bunch of different details, detail layers, and in the end you're going to get results. You can get these results by just doing it manually, or you can even get something better than this. I think it's maybe a little too beat up, so if you want to do something different, of course, add more details and uh, as you can see it here in the viewport see what it looks like and do changes accordingly and once you're done the final step is to export your textures so click here for export options and pretty much you can just select an area where you're going to be saving this uh, and you can choose if you want to export just the diffuse or just the specular or everything in this case I'm going to export everything and that should be it. Uh, you should be able to use all those textures in Maya or whatever rendering software you're going to use. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how you would go about doing textures with Didu pretty quickly.